Hey, what is up you guys? Welcome to or welcome back to my channel. My name is Josh and I'm a makeup artist fr from New York and today we are going to be doing a review and unboxing of the ColourPop Color Outside the Line liner. So this is their cream gel liner formula and yeah, if you guys want to see what I think about this a vault from ColourPop Cosmetics, make sure to keep on watching. Make sure you guys leave a comment down below on this video what you think and make sure you hit that like button for that YouTube algorithm and don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you aren't subscribed to my channel already and make sure you guys hit that post notification icon so you are notified every single time I drop a brand new video. But yeah, I went ahead and picked up the Color Outside the Liner Vault Collection from ColourPop Cosmetics because I've heard really good things about their gel cream liner formula and they're six or seven dollars a pop, I believe, a pop, <laughs> like each one. <laughs> seven or six dollars each one so like singly singularly singular single i don't know but the whole vault does retail for 88 dollars. it is currently on sale for 77 so it comes with a total of 20 liners <laughs> so yeah let's i'm gonna just swatch all of them for you guys i don't know i guess i'm gonna swatch them on my arm it wouldn't make sense to swatch them on my eye all of them <laughs> but yeah let's do this up so I reach for this because I do have a few liners, but I have like I have like the basic color liners I have like a few dark shades, you know a black a brown and nudier more color But it's really fun to have all these different shades and finishes because I do videos <laughs> And if I have these liners I could do some impressive things that you can't do with regular makeup sometimes people um if you have some if you have some Jeffree Star liquid lipsticks too, these can be used as liner as well. These are completely eye safe. So you could just take a brush and put them anywhere that you desire, not only on the lips. But if you don't have that, have some cream liners here. So we're gonna start off with the first one. This is the ColourPop cream liner, VFF creme liner. So this is in the shade Unts, and this is like orange shade, obviously. I'm gonna start off with this one yeah they're really creamy really pigmented okay so they go up and down like a regular pencil so you can see right there the orange really pigmented really creamy it's slid on like like nothing like soap soap <laughs> like lotion <laughs> now we have a pink a hot pink and this is in the shade insomniac Just as nice, just as creamy, just as vibrant. I can't believe how pigmented they are. Impressed. Next, we have a orangey shade, and this is in the shade Punch. Almost like a pineapple color. And that's right there. So we got the orange, the pink, and the yellow. Next, we have a deeper bright yellow color, and this is called Crossed, I guess. <laughs> I'm excited to see how pigmented this is what these are crazy <laughs> I need I need a formula for these because these are some pigmented some very very pigmented eyeliners next we have a green one this will probably disappear into the green screen I'm sorry <laughs> and this is going to be electric daisy again if the green shades just disappear it's because of the green screen I apologize oh if you guys could see this one you guys would be gagged Gooped, gagged, stolen. Oh, wow. These look like fake. These look like paint on my hand. <laughs> Next, we have a teal color, and this is in the shade Zulu. This is like a Tiffany blue. Like, oh God. Like an OG shade, like a one you need. These are all like super springy colors, like that whole lineup. I think I'm gonna need to do an eye, look, just like going out. Next, we have another green. So if this one disappears, you guys already know why. And this one's called teaspoon i like that name that's a cool name oh no we freaking cut off the little tip of the gel liner wow anyways teaspoon so this is the least pigmented so far out of all of them weirdly enough it's not terrible but it's just like a tiny bit patchy i feel like it could have a little bit more color payoff even the yellow is like Next, we have a darker green, and this is called Fast Lane. Besides the black, this is one of the darkest colors. You see, like, this one's way more pigmented than that one. And I'm going to be super careful because I ruined the tip. 
and that dark green looks like that right there next they gave us like a sky blue and this is in the shade prance whoa -ho -ho -ho. this one's my favorite so far this one's insanely pigmented another super pigmented cream liner next we have dtla i don't know what that means downtown la i guess yeah because they're from california but this is from santa monica i don't know i'm guessing dtla is downtown la <laughs> but this is what this one looks like it's like a darker sky blue oh whoa whoa i did not expect that to look like that that's a really nice i like that one that's right there next we have a lilac and this is in the shade crybaby purples are really hard to formulate and the pencil itself is a little soft but it does have a really good pigmentation it's a little patchy to be honest but like i said purples are very difficult so i'm pretty happy with it next we have piggy bank and this is a deep purple there's like a bloodless color oh ho, ho, ho. I put, oh i put it a little far away because i'm stupid but it's super nice I ruined the satisfaction of every color being like right next to each other. <laughs> Why did I have to do that? <laughs> next, we have a straight up white, I believe, and this is called Exit. Obviously, again, a little bit patchy, but this is a pure white. So like, you know what I mean? But like, it's pretty there. It's not like not even showing up. Next, we have a nude, and this is in the shade Honey Dude. Ooh. I don't know what the heck you would use a nude gel liner for, but this is nice. It basically disappears on my hand. <laughs> Next, we have a metallic silver, and this is in the shade Kicker. This is the first metallic shade. Oh, whoa, the, the pigment is amazing. <laughs> Everything, the pigment, how it slides on, the color. You guys have to check this out. Look at that silver. That thing's insane. Now we have a metallic gold, and this is in the shade Dirty Talk. I can't open it. Oh, there we go. <laughs> this is in the shade Dirty Talk right there next to the silver. Next, we have more of, of a bronzed metallic shade, and this is in Get Paid. This is almost like my Patrick Ta highlighter shade. Yep. Oh, oh it's like a steel eye. It's like a steel eyeshadow shade. It's like a rose gold, but like it's so deep and so pigmented. Next, we have a dark brown metallic, and this is in the shade Overboard. Oh, wow. This one's really nice. I'm pretty sure I have this in the Anastasia Beverly Hills XM Resi palette. It's right there, and this is like a brown metallic. And last, oh no, not last. <laughs> Second to last. This one's in the shade Call Me, and this is a dark brown no metallic just a regular oh no this is like oh yeah it is dark brown it's a little patchy though to be honest i'm pretty disappointed in it for being a brown it's really patchy and just to note these are like one swipe like if you try to go over them again it actually ruins the first lay down for some reason so i would recommend just straight up go for it if you could see in the brown right here at the top right there i tried to like re-put some down and it like picked it all up so once you go in with these, I would just recommend don't go over it again. Like if you miss a spot, yes, fill it in. But if you like go over it and you think it needs to be a little bit more intense right here, don't even bother going back over it because it's just going to take off the product. And that's for most cream liners because that's just how the formula works, you know? Last but not least, we have the black shade and this is in the shade Swerve. And obviously it's a deep dark black. Low key, I'm not going to lie, I've already checked this one out and it's perfect. Oh god yeah it's just a deep 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 black here are all the swatches on my hand the pink the orange to the pink to the yellow to the yellow to the green to the blue to the green to the green to the blue to the blue to the magenta to the purple to the white to the silver to the nudes everything <laughs> here are all the liners right here so this is how many you got i tell you guys the same thing pretty much every single time in my opinion as a makeup artist this is a great pickup like i said People ask for different things all the time. Some people want white liner. Halloween comes around and people want all different sorts of signs of things. Easter, sometimes people want really cool neon 
liners and stuff like that so it's just really nice to have in general and if you're just a makeup artist who's really creative if you want to have these colors you could do a lot of these like i could do a whole neon vibe line like liner look you know what i'm saying like just going over and out starting all the neon colors and then just buff them and blend them and it would look amazing not to lie. <laughs> But yeah, I think these are definitely worth the money. If you guys want, I would definitely recommend picking them up. I'll leave the link in the description for the ColourPop website and link so you guys could pick the vaults or even just the individual shades themselves up. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and yeah, uh, make sure you guys check out make sure you guys check out my podcast, Deek the Podcast. There's a brand new episode every single week. It's available everywhere podcasts are heard. <laughs> Spotify. Apple Podcast, um, Anchor, Breaker, SoundCloud, everywhere. Yeah, make sure you guys check that out. I'll leave the link in the description down below. And yeah, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace. Stay safe. What is up, you guys? Welcome to or welcome back to my channel. My name is Josh, and I'm a makeup artist from New York. And today, I have another video for you guys today. We're gonna be doing another makeup artist reacts to Vogue Beauty Secrets on YouTube. Today, we are going to be reacting to the Trixie Mattel's 33-step beauty transformation from Vogue Beauty. Um, yeah, I mean, there's not much else to say. <laughs> make sure you guys leave a comment down below what you think about this video. And make, make sure you guys hit that thumbs up button for that YouTube algorithm. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you aren't subscribed already. Make sure you hit that post notification bell so you're notified every single time I drop a brand new video. But yeah, you guys already know the deal. Let's get right into it. This gonna be funny. Hi, uh, my name is Elle yes, Fanning. Yes. Um, I'm dead. <laughs> here this morning to get into my everyday look. Oh, well, my name's Trixie Mattel, and I wanted to yeah, show you not. guys <laughs> an easy look. Well, easy for me, difficult for you. I so I have extremely for her as well. dry skin, which is not a good match for drag um, because I tear through my face on a daily basis. Yeah, I have really dry so, skin too. Um, I gotta take care of my skin like big time. Otherwise, I literally will be in drag and have like flakes on my face. So I'm gonna use nine to five cleanser from Lush because it's a waterless like cleansing lotion. You apply it right on dry skin. It feels like, I don't know, to me, I only have so many hot water splashes on my face until I feel like I'm actually starting to deplete my natural lipid barrier. And we can use like it like <laughs> So then once I've kind of washed that in, okay, okay. and then I'm like, oh. <laughs> The devil's in the details. So like, if you're gonna wear as much makeup as I wear, I do want people to get close and be like, oh my God, <laughs> she looks really like you. Close even. People always tell me I look better in real life than I do in pictures, he which is supposed to be a compliment. Just like, like Well, what kind of trash bag do I look like in pictures? This is a uh, Mac. I've been using this charged water, but this is really good because it has um. Strobe. It's one of the only Mac moisturizers that doesn't have any fragrances. That's super again, old. Again, because I'm so dry. Even the teeniest fragrance will burn. Fragrances. <laughs> this is a lip oil. I don't know if it's fragrance. that great. Well, my ex-boyfriend.